Okay, this is a, going to be a quick demo for my GCSE electronics students. Uh, we don't have the program control studio, so we can't make this, but we can make something very similar in Circuit Wizard. So this is uh, this is a system block diagram for what we're going to make. So let's go for it. So uh, this is the one that's already made. So we're going to have something like this, uh, but let's do it ourselves now. So file new, or if you want, click that button. Uh, electronic circuit with a genie flowchart, although we're not going to do any flowcharts in today, use that one by default. And then uh, we've got lots of options here where we want to power supply. Uh, voltage rail, drag that in, double click it, change it to 12 volts, click on OK. Then we need an output component uh, and it's an electromechanical component, a solenoid, drag that. Double click it, change that to 12 volts as well so it matches the power supply. And just join that up like so. I'm going to use the wheel on the mouse just to zoom in a little bit. I need an in channel MOSFET which is going to be under discrete semiconductors. There we go. Click that, click OK, and then I want ground, which is equivalent to, or it is zero volts. So ground, drag that in there. So now you got 0 volts, you got 12 volts, so you've got potential of 12 volts across this. And then we need a logic gate, AND gate, like that. And then we need two inputs. We need another one, I'm going to control drag, it's an easy way to copy. Also works in many office programs. I'm going to give these names. Read switch. Can't remember what the other one was called. Let's have a quick look. There's read switch and push switch. Push switch. Now I'm going to press Control A to select all. Just drag it over into the middle. Uh, what else do we need? Well, uh, you'll learn more about why we need this later. But just for the moment, diodes. Drag it in. In case I went too quickly there, that was under. Uh, discrete semiconductors diodes. I need to rotate it around. Let's say um, you'll, you'll learn more about why we need this in another lesson for the moment. Just, just put it in. Like so. And let's test it out. So we click the run. Um, the AND gate will only output true if both the inputs are true. So like that. And then that means our MOSFET has gone into saturation, but more about that in another lesson. That means the current can flow through the MOSFET, and it means the solenoid is now activated. And if either of these goes logic low, or both of them go logic low, the uh, solenoid is no longer activated. Uh, it's useful knowing about logic levels here. You see 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if it's 1, 1, and 1, the output of an AND gate is 1. Uh, you can also have a look at current flow as well. Uh, voltage levels, not in my opinion such a useful view. I think logic levels is, is really good. Current flow is useful sometimes. We often work in normal view. Uh, if you're going to print screen something stick it in your work, I like the standard. That one is probably the best looking one. Okay, that's it for my uh, very quick video. hope it's uh, useful to someone.